In this video, we are going to talk about two different types of arthropods, crustaceans, specifically mantis shrimp, and cockroaches. I'm going to talk about two different brain structures, the learning and memory part of the cockroach and mantis shrimp brain, and the eyesight and eyeballs of both creatures. Most crustaceans have a hemolipsoid body, which acts towards basic functioning of the crustacean brain. But in the mantis shrimp and in all insects, including the cockroach, there is a structure in the same place called a mushroom body. This structure is the learning and memory center of the mantis shrimp's brain and of the cockroach brain. Shown on the left is a picture of the mantis shrimp's mushroom body and to the right, the cockroach's mushroom body both depicted in purple. Unlike most other crustaceans, the mantis shrimp has vast hunting territories where it chases and kills its prey with its ferocious punch. It must recognize and memorize its hunting territories in order to survive. This may be why the mantis shrimp has evolved a mushroom body where other crustaceans have not. The mantis shrimp has also been known to create kinship bonds and recognize kin, as well as remember aversive and non-aversive encounters in lab experiments. Because mantis shrimp have developed the same brain structure as insects, scientists believe that crustaceans and insects evolved from the same ancestor about 480 million years ago. Another fascinating part of the mantis shrimp is its capacity to see. While humans have only two photoreceptors in our eyes, mantis shrimp have 12, four of which are for seeing ultraviolet light. Although we don't know why the mantis shrimp has so many photoreceptors, scientists conclude that it may be due to the shrimp's unique hunting strategy. The mantis shrimp has the fastest punch in the animal kingdom and can go at the speed of a bullet. The speed at which the mantis shrimp takes in information through its eyes must be fast enough to inform its deadly punch. In a National Geographic article, Nicholas Roberts from the University of Bristol says, quote, a mantis shrimp only has a fraction of our cortical processing power, yet it handles four times our more input. The non-comparative processing system they have involved represents a novel solution for increasing data acquisition while minimizing any downstream processing overhead. His hypothesis is that the mantis shrimp does most of its processing inside its eyeball without sending the majority of the information to the rest of the brain. Another reason why mantis shrimp are so colorful and have such good eyesight is for mating displays and attraction for fitness. Now let's move our attention to the cockroach, a common household pest. The mushroom body of the cockroach shows incredible resemblance to the hippocampus structure in the human brain and is especially important in place memory. Here is a representation of the cockroach's mushroom body. In an experiment, cockroaches showed rapid improvement in their ability to locate hidden targets when the target's position was provided by distant visual cues. After lesions were applied to the mushroom body of the cockroach, this ability became non-existent but the cockroach's capacity to see remained. This is comparable to other studies done with the hippocampus in rats and suggests the importance of the mushroom body in place memory. This is important for the cockroach's ability to remember and locate good scavenging locations for its omnivorous diet. Another important part of the cockroach's brain is its visual capacity to see in the dark. Scientists at a university in Finland inserted a microelectrode into the eye of a cockroach, which triggered electrical blips every time a photon entered the eye. Even in near pitch black conditions, 
Light pools in the photoreceptors of the cockroach's eye until it triggers an action potential in the bipolar cell, which then has a domino effect through neural passageways to the brain. In this way, cockroaches can take in very small amounts of light in very dark conditions to see while hunting and scavenging for food. Scientists are trying to learn from the cockroach and apply cockroach eye function in the improvement of night vision technologies. I hope you enjoyed this movie and that you learned a little bit about mushroom bodies and mantis shrimp and cockroaches and about eye function that helps both creatures hunt their prey. Thank you for watching!